My name is Jill Jadlica and I am the Executive Director and the Riverkeeper for Buffalo Niagara Riverkeeper. I oversee all the operations and programs for the organization um, on a daily basis. So I uh, supervise 26 full-time employees um, and we have an 18-member board of directors. And through some of our uh, programs and projects, we probably have over 100 uh, different partners throughout the community. Probably our, our largest and most visible project that we've been working on that oftentimes a lot of people don't even realize our role or that we're involved in is the remediation and the restoration of the Buffalo River. And that's a $100 million, 10-year effort. Sometimes people don't really understand what it takes to restore a river. Um, it, it feels like, I think, to a lot of folks that the restoration of the Buffalo, Buffalo River was this overnight success. Um, it's literally almost 30 years in the making, and it started in the 1980s when the river was designated as a federal area of concern, and that's an actual designation. So the river itself proper is about seven miles, but the watershed, meaning the area of land that drains into that river, is over 450 square miles and stretches all the way up into um, the boundaries of Wyoming County and into the Outer Ring suburbs and rural, rural areas. You can't be a strong advocate for something if you don't understand it. So there's a lot of our work is grounded in science and research and understanding the environmental challenges facing the region. And then we sit down and we strategically think and identify what are the solutions to those problems. Um, because we know there's a, there was a million cubic yards of contamination at the bottom of the river, but you can't just go in there and start digging, because when you do that, you might affect the floodplain and you might affect the hydrology and it may have unintended consequences. So you really have to know what you're doing before you start to make that change. Personally, it's it's a great feeling to know that your life's work and your profession is actually having an impact on the community. Um, I chose to stay in Western New York after I graduated from college and to, to, to develop a career here and to raise my family here. So the work that we do is not just about showing up for work every day and filling out a timesheet. There's a lot of passion and commitment to the work that we do and, and to know that we're enhancing and improving our community.